I'm going to give an overview now of the 433 megahertz fixed code cloning remote. It's used primarily with automated gates, garage doors and uh, shutters. So the, the idea behind this remote uh, is that you have a remote control that's working but you want to have additional ones either for family members, uh, visitors or um, just to have spares yourself and you don't want to pay the outrageous price that uh, genuine remotes will cost. You can end up with exactly the same remote control using um, this remote that we have central here. So I have it in the center of the picture. And what we're going to go through now is the exact procedure you would use regardless of the make or model of the remote uh, to clone it. Okay? So um, the key thing to consider here, uh, I'll touch on this afterwards, but it has to be a 433 megahertz uh, remote that you're cloning. Okay? It won't work with other things, but 433 is probably the most common frequency used out there. So the first thing we need to do is the following. Uh, I'm going to bring up very close uh, the remote that we're going to be cloning from. So remember, this is a remote that's come directly out of the pack that uh, you're buying from the freetv.ie website. This is the re an example of a remote which you're trying to clone the codes for. So the first thing is you want to tell it that I'm now interested in programming myself up. So it's going to do two things here. It's going to go into programming mode and also it's going to wipe its entire memory of anything that's in the memory existing. So how you tell it that is you simply go press down and hold down A and B. And after about 10 seconds or so, we'll see that the blue LED light will come on here. Just give it another few moments. Come on. So it's flashing here. So that's great. So now it's in programming mode. And what we'll do now is we'll press down button, uh, the button that we want to clone on the other remote. So this will say on a very simple setup, this could be just an open gates button. You press that down and you hold this one here. And what's happening here is, I can release that now. What's happened is, is that the remote that we're trying to clone, by pressing down the button on it, it's emitted the signal that it's saying, this is the signal I send out when I want to come along and uh, open the gates. And what button A is doing is, it's waiting, it sees that signal coming in, and it says, okay, I've got that signal, and flashes the blue light, okay? So if it comes along then, and we want to program a second remote on it, what we'll do is we simply come along, we press the B button, so we'll emit this, we press the B button here, it's in the programming thing, and what it does is it, it comes on continuously. So now button A represents this button, button B represents this button, so it all depends. And obviously on this one here, we have a total of two that we can use. Now if somehow it doesn't work, or we've made a mess of it, or we just have done something wrong, all we have to do to um, start over again is once again press down button A and B, and it'll completely uh, wipe it and get it ready for programming on it. So how compatible is this? Well, the first thing is, if you go onto the product pages, or indeed, if you just go onto the freetv.ie website, you can search out the brand name of the particular product you're interested in. If it's listed there, you'll know it'll work automatically. You'll get the remote control off us. You come along, you repeat the procedure that's in this video, and 30 seconds later, you have it up and working, okay? The next thing to know is, that, as I mentioned there, it'll only work with 433 megahertz uh, fixed code equipment. And um, so you could consult with your, we'll say, your original installer or something like this, if you weren't totally sure, if it wasn't clear from the remote, which it probably won't be, uh, what type of frequency is on it. And it'll save you making the, the wrong choice in relation to it. But this definitely is a huge thing. Like in the past myself, I have paid over 30 euros for one of these remotes. And I remember I had to pay, I think, a 30 euro call out fee as well. Um, to get it out, but I just needed one urgently. But with something like this, you can just afford to go onto our website, buy them uh, cheaply, have them delivered extremely cheaply and extremely promptly. With us, we'll say you can come along and, and make a decision to have it delivered next day. So that's it anyway, an overview of the 433 megahertz fixed code cloning remote uh, that works with automated gates, garage doors and shutters.